Hello dear people. The question is from gate 2005 exam. It's for two marks. You are required to find this output y. Okay, this is a D flip flop and this circuit is used at input of D. Okay, let's do one thing. Let me first read out the statement. Then I'll explain this question. Consider the following circuit involving a positive edge triggered D flip flop. Consider the following timing diagram. Let AI represent the logic level on the line A in ith clock period. Let A dash represent the complement of A, the correct output sequence Y over the clock period 1 through 5 is. Okay, so you can see the diagrams that were given in the question, I have drawn them here. This is the clock signal. This is the values of X with respect to the clock signal. Okay, but what are the values of this input A? That's given in the question. During this period of time, value of A will be A0. During this period, value of A will be A1. Then here the value of A is A2, A3, A4, A5. Okay, these are the values of A. So both of these inputs are known. That means we can uh, just calculate what will be the value of y during the respective clocks. Okay. Before that, let's analyze this part of the circuit. This input D. What is this input D? I've drawn a similar circuit here. You can see when the value of variable x is 1, this AND gate will output a 0. This AND gate will output a A because 1 and A is A, 0 and B is 0. Okay. So the outputs are A and 0. That means in case x is equal to 1, output is A. So x dot A. If x is equal to 0, output will be B. If x is 1, this input is allowed to pass. If x is 0, this input B is allowed to pass. Okay. So if x is 1, output is A. If x is 0, that means x bar the output is B. Okay. So this circuit is kind of a multiplexer with X as the select line. Okay. Now just have a look here. What are the values of X and A during the clock number 0? This is the 0th clock. Okay. The positive edge of 0th clock. It's mentioned in the question that this flip flop is a positive edge triggered flip flop. So it will react or it will change these outputs only upon seeing a positive edge. First of all, let's calculate what are these values and what is this input before, just before the zeroth clock. See, x is high, that means x is 1. During this entire period, from beginning till here, till the zeroth clock, Value of A is A0. So I'm writing A0 here. Okay. Let us see what will be this gate outputting. This is 1. That means this gate will surely output 0. This X is 1. So this gate is going to output A0. A0 or 0. It will be A0 only. Okay. Now whenever we give the first or 0th clock. That means this clock. This D flip flop will just take its input D and give the exact same input and output. So this value is going to be transferred in Y. That means after the first clock signal, its output is going to be A0. Okay. This value is going to be A0 bar, the complement of output. Now just keep in mind that this A0 and A0 bar will not change until the next clock is given. Okay, these values will remain as it is until the next clock is given, even though if you keep on changing the inputs, just because of the fact that flip flop is not going to react until any clock signal is seen. Okay, now let's see what happens during this clock. We can say it is C1. C0 is done. Okay, the next positive edge of clock is here. Let's see what will happen. So what are the values of inputs for this clock? See value of x is still 1. For this entire time, x is high. So during this period x is high. What is the value of a? 
during this entire period a is a1 so this input has changed to a1 just after this clock okay just after this clock a turns to a1 this axis still the same that means this and gate will output a1 this or gate will also output a1 now see earlier this was getting a not as the input now it is getting a1 as the input just after this clock the input to this flip flop changed to a1 but this flip flop will not react to this input until the clock is given okay so for this entire time it is not going to react to the input it will react only during this clock okay whenever this clock is given a1 will be given in the output okay so the first output output during the zeroth clock was a not output during the first clock is a1 so this value will change to a1 and this is a1 bar okay so these outputs will remain as it is until the next clock is seen okay now just after this clock just after seeing this clock value of x turns to 0 okay here x is 0 you can see x becomes low so i'm writing a 0 here and a becomes a2 okay see this is the second clock period so this is a2 anyways this a2 will not be allowed to pass because x is 0 so this and gate will block this input and in this case output is going to be 0 let us see what is the input d you can see this d flip flop will keep on outputting a1 and a1 complement okay so this output is a1 complement this and gate is getting a1 complement from here and a 1 from here okay that means it will output a1 complement only okay this or gates output will be 0 or a1 complement that means a1 complement okay see when did all of these changes take place just after you gave this clock value of x became 0 and a became a2 okay just at that point only these inputs will change okay just after giving that uh, clock because during that clock a becomes 0 so a2 will be blocked at that time only and this a1 complement will be allowed to pass till here at that time only but the flip-flop won't react until the clock cycle is received so that is this clock cycle during this entire time this compl a1 complement was the input of d flip-flop but it is not allowed to pass until the clock signal now let us say this clock is seen this positive edge of clock is seen this is going to be transferred here so the next output the next value of y is a1 complement okay so this is a1 complement and hence this value will be a1 okay the complement of output so i'm writing a1 complement here let us see what is next now immediately after seeing this clock you can see value of x is 1 okay rather x is 1 for this entire time immediately after this clock signal x turns 1 that means immediately after this happening as soon as the value of change uh, of y is changed to a1 complement just at that time whatever is this value it will be allowed to pass till here okay so this value is a3 during this period okay that means a3 will be allowed to pass just after this clock so during this entire time this flip-flop is getting a3 but it won't let it go as the output until a clock signal okay that clock signal is received here so the next value of output is going to be a3 this is a3 this will be a3 complement okay see now just after this clock value of x is 1 okay that means this input a will be allowed to pass but just after this clock value of a changes to a4 from a3 so this value is a4 
that means a4 is only allowed to pass till here see this a3 complement is reaching till here currently also this gate is getting a3 complement but because this input is zero a3 complement will be blocked and a4 will be the input okay now see just after this clock signal that means say somewhere here we are currently here this complement immediately turned sorry this input immediately turned to a4 just after this clock but this flip flop won't react until this clock signal okay when we reach here that means at this point of time this d flip flop will react it will change its output to a4 and a4 complement okay so you can see uh, the output was a3 then a4 okay so this is your answer a0 a1 a1 complement a3 a4 whenever this input was a2 that means during this time because the value of x is low what happened this input was only blocked so it cannot be seen in the output okay what will be the output output is whatever was the previous value here because that value is allowed to pass previous value here was complement of this output its complement as a complement so that is seen in the output okay yeah so let us see which option it is you can see it is option a a not a1 a1 complement a3 a4 yeah so your answer is option a okay 